Hello friends, my name is Vini Tarora and you are watching Azure DevOps series. In our last session, we have seen that how to create an image and how to push it to container registry and how to deploy it to a web service. Right? Now, in this session, we are going to see that how we can deploy these images, these how we can push these images as per our different environment. Because we may have the different environment, we may say as stages. For example, let me show you. We may have the development environment, we may have the QA environment, and we may have the production environment. The development environment will have the different app service, QA environment will have the different app service, and production will have definitely different app service. Now, we need to deploy these, deploy our code, we need to deploy our uh, we need to push our images there as per the branch. So, in our code repository, till now we have seen that we had only one repository that was master or main branch. And here, what we are going to do, we are going to have the two branches. One is the dev branch and one is the master branch or main branch. Right? Now, as per the, our branch name, we will deploy it to the specific environment. Let me explain you from here as well. Uh, here we will have the two app service. One app service will be the dev app service. One will be the QA app service. We will deploy our code. We will uh, we will create our image, right? We will build our image from the different branches, and as per the branches, we will tag it, right? And when the question will come to deploy it, we will see okay from which branch this particular image has been built. And as per that, we will deploy it, right? If the source branch is dev, then we will deploy it to the dev app service. If the source branch is QA, then we will deploy it to the QA app service. So here, we are going to cover three things. One, we will tag the image as per our branch name. We will create one more environment that is a, a QA app service we are going to create. And we are going to see that how we will deploy it as per our branch name. So let's start. Before starting, let me just request you that if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please like. Thank you. OK, let's proceed. So uh, let's jump directly to the uh, portal. So this is our app service that we created in our last session. right? This is our container registry, Avin ACR. In this container registry, let me show you the repositories. Here, we have the repository name as image. This is uh, winavin techno slash docker hello world flask. This is the repository name. And there further, we have the tags. Let me show you the code of Azure DevOps as well, that how we have done it. So first of all, we have created a task that is build an image. Inside the build an image, we have tagged it as image, build repository name, and then build ID. Right? So. As a first step, we are going to tag it as per the branch name. OK, so how we will do that? Let me show you. We have a, uh, as we have a existing uh, variable name that, for example, here we have the build.repository name. So we have the system variable name. Let me show you there. What is that? That is a branch.source name, right? So what I will do, uh, I will copy this. See, the the content which is coming after colon, this is the tag, right? So let me add, right? And build.build .build ID, instead of build.build .build ID, let me add build.source branch name. So as per the branch name, this will tag it, right? OK, so now this particular this uh, this particular pipeline will create an image as per this image name repository name image hyphen repository name then branch name then hyphen build id okay now let me replicate this to push an image as well okay okay i have copied it here as well now this is my deployment section where i am going to deploy it so let me update this as well. So now this is done. OK, let me save it. Let me show you the container registry once again. So here we don't have tags, right? Sorry, here we have the tags, but we don't have the tag as per our 
branch name right let me show you the uh, tags as well uh, the branch as well so this is my repository here i have the two branch main branch and dev branch okay so here what i am going to do i am going to run it now i am going to queue it with main branch run okay let's see what will happen now this is building and this may take some time okay so uh, this pipeline has been completed and uh, we have got an image right and uh, this is the image name winaven techno slash docker hello world flask then main hyphen 55 this is the build id and this is a branch name now let me jump to here uh, this one let me refresh it this is the repository in the portal so now you can see we have a new tag that is main hyphen 55 55 is the build id and main is the branch name okay in a similar way what we will do we will build it with dev branch as well so once we will build it with dev branch we will have the tag as dev hyphen 56 okay so this is the first step that we have seen now as a second step i have i was updating you here so here we have seen that uh, we are going to create one more app service till now we had the only one app service that is uh, this right avin docker dev now i am going to create one more that it will be avin docker qa okay let me create it resource group is this let me avin docker dev dev is already exist i'm going to add h qa now this will be docker container this will be linux based and location is india central india okay so i have already created an linux plan so that will come here i have chosen this by default now let me click on docker so here in the docker i what i need to do i need to provide my image so what i will do i will click here as a image source as azure container registry and here the registry name will come as a avin cr image name is coming as uh, the same now i need to select a tag the tag that i am going to select is this the latest tag main 55 right and now let me just create it okay so our next app service is ready that is avin docker qa let me browse it if you want to know the logs we can simply go here and can browse it that what exactly is happening here in the side the log stream and here you can see this is ready hello world this flask app version 209 right and this is the log that you can know over okay our app service has been started okay so this was the second step now as a third step i need to deploy it right and how i am going to deploy it let me jump to the as your devops here i have the pipeline let me edit this pipeline so uh, till now we have seen that okay this is our third task in which we need to deploy right and here we need to choose the app service name here the app service name we have chosen the docker dev now what i need to do i need to replicate it what i am going to do i am clone this task right and after cloning what i am going to do i am going to rename the first one as avin docker deploy avin docker dev and the second as avin docker qa okay so this was the part of renaming now what i need to do i need to uh, i will go to the first task and there i will check this avin docker qa and the second task sorry i will choose it avin dev docker dev itself in the second one i will choose it as a avin docker qa so now what way it will do it will deploy the same image to both of this but we don't want this we are looking to have this condition that i was showing here if branch name is dev then deploy it to dev app service if branch name is main then deploy it to qa app service right so what i need to do i just need to add a condition here i will go here i will choose the control option inside the control option what i will do i will choose this 
condition here as a custom condition and inside the custom condition I just need to paste this particular command or condition here as equal to so here what it will do it will check that if these two variables are same two values are same the first value is a variable build dot source branch name if the branch name is tab then this will deploy this will run otherwise this will not run right so now what I need to do I need to copy this and need to do the same thing here in this particular task control option here in the control option I need to choose the uh, custom condition once again and here I need to update the branch name that is main okay now I need to save it so the save part is done and let's run it so what when we are going to run it uh, this time let me deploy it with dev branch so we have seen already here in our container registry that we had one tag that was main.55 and this time we are going to do with dev so let's run it let's see what will happen okay so our pipeline has been executed and let me show you from the jobs that we have created two deploy tasks one was with dev and one was with QA as you can see from here the task that was with dev has been executed but the task which was with QA has not been executed the reason behind this that the condition didn't match condition was that it should be branch name should be main and the condition for it was the branch name should be dev right because we had deployed it we have built it uh, we have created our image with the dev branch so that's why this got executed and this doesn't okay now let me go to here and uh, let me show you here we have the two things one was with QA and one was with uh, dev right so now you can see the version are same both here right but you will not be able to identify easily although we have recently deployed this particular dev right let me uh, sorry let me add dev here right the version is same 209 we had deployed it 209 but on QA so because both were the same version now there will be some situation okay you may say how we will identify okay from the dev branch because the content is same both here so avoid that confusion what I am going to do I am going to do some changes in my dev branch here uh, let me explain from here right so we have the dev branch we have the master branch and once we will merge it to dev to master then this will be deployed to QA so let me just show you the dev branch here I will update the code of dev branch okay and then I will deploy it okay so this is my uh, dev branch let me go to the server.py and here let me just edit this here you can see uh, the version is 209 let me edit this the version is now 2010 I'm going to save it okay this is done now I'm going to publish it once again basically the build it once again you can say here I'm going to run it once again the branch name is tab okay running it now okay so this is completed once again right and this time we have the tag as dev57 let me go here and let me just uh, refresh this this is my QA and this is my dev let me refresh this so now you can see the version has been changed to 010 this is in our dev now in our QA let me refresh it this is still 209 because we have deployed it to dev only right so we have seen that how we can deploy it as per our branch name now if the situation comes we need to build the image from the QA branch so what the developer will do they will merge the, uh, merge the dev branch this one they will merge the dev branch to master branch via PR and once we, our code will be in master branch then we will build it from the master branch and then our code will be deployed so I hope this session was fruitful for you 
and you have gained the knowledge that how we can deploy it as per our branch name okay so in our next session we are uh, we will also see that how we can do the manual intervention when we are going to deploy the same code from queue environment to production environment right in that situation basically we are not in need to build it once again and this is the general scenario that we follow okay so uh, let's conclude here and we will meet our next session thank you bye bye have a good day